Welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. My name is Aaron Cow. This is part three of the series on Pulumi deployments. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to build a drift detection application that repeatedly runs refreshes on infrastructure you want to monitor for drift via the Pulumi deployment API. Now, drift is what happens when the live production infrastructure you have has diverged from the desired state defined in code. Drift detection is useful because it can alert you to situations where someone has made manual edits to your infrastructure via the AWS console uh, without committing those changes to code in the Pulumi program. We're using the drift detection example from the Pulumi deploy demos repo. So we're going to deploy two stacks here for this demo. The first stack is the stack that will be monitored. And the second stack is the drift detection app. The drift detector stack will call refresh against the monitor stack on a cron job. If the refresh turns up a deviation from desired state, an alert will be written to the logs of the drift detector stack. Let's get started. We're going to first deploy the stack that will be monitored for drift. Uh, so let's. there. Okay. So let's do a pulling me new. Um, and we'll just do something really simple. Um, the AWS Python uh, template. All right, we'll call that minimal Python pulling me program. And Okay, we can run a plummy up. Let that run real quick. Okay, that's done running. This is a very simple um, uh, piece of infrastructure. It's just a stack that has a S3 bucket, uh, but we're gonna be monitoring this for drift. Next, we're gonna deploy the drift detector. Um, I am pulling it from the examples in the deploy demos um, repo. Um, it's actually rather simple. Um, it is just provisioning a Lambda that uh, calls, it's being kicked off on a cron and what it's doing is it has a pulling me access token um, so it has access to um, make changes on stacks. Uh, so what it's doing is the stack that it's monitoring, it is calling refresh against it um, and then checking for whether there's deviations against the desired state and then writing to logs. So we will deploy this. So I cloned it over here in this repo. So. Um, first let's do, okay, then we'll do this, we'll initialize the stack, great, then we'll set some configurations. And now what we're going to do is um, we're going to pass it a, a configuration. Where we're essentially pointing it to the stack that we created earlier. Um, that way it knows to read it um, and perform the refresh on it.
Okay, with that, we will do a pulling me up. And we'll let that run real quick. Okay, that's done. So now we're just gonna follow the logs to see what has drifted. Okay, so the the lambda uh, that's part of the drift detector is running. So what it does is um, it reads in from the configurations which stacks it needs to monitor. So here we inputted uh, demo drift monitor stack dev. Uh, so what it's doing is um, it is just calling uh, refresh on that stack to see if there's any changes. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to create a drift manually here. Uh, so uh, we previously launched the stack, uh, drift monitor stack, it's that S3 bucket. So, um, so here we'll see that if we hit activity, um, the drift detector is calling deployments and uh, running refresh. Uh, but so far all the, uh, no drift has been detected because nothing's been touched. But if we go to resources, we'll here see that there is a S3 bucket. So let's open it up in the AWS console. And we are going to delete this bucket. So. Okay, it's successfully deleted the bucket. So, the next time that there is a refresh run, um, we should be able to detect uh, that there's a drift against the stack. So let us wait for that. I think the cron's running every minute, so um, it might take a little bit. All right, there we go. Um, it, the logs show that it found one stack that did not pass the drift uh, check. Um, so um, it works. There we have it, a drift detector that automatically detects infrastructure stack deviations. This video is based on code in our Deploy Demos GitHub repo. The link is below. This concludes the series on Pulumi deployments. Pulumi Deployments is our deployments as a service technology where Pulumi fully manages the execution of infrastructure as code programs for you. Over the course of this series, y'all saw that you can build very useful applications against the Deployments API. We hope this series can give you some inspiration to use deployments for sophisticated infrastructure provisioning and management workflows. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. That is it for today's Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. See y'all next time.